Hi everybody, it's me, Teresa Perrin. Um, I did a separate video already discussing what caused Mullen to um, start ripping today, but I want to do a video discussing the technical analysis and short interest and what I see happening um, going forward, as well as one warning um, that I do see. Um, and that's not necessarily going to be something that's going to bring this down today but it, or ever, but it is something that we need to keep in the back of our mind, guys. Anyways, um, please remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. And if you could smash that like button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Please let me know in the comments below by putting a heart if you have been in Mullen um, prior to the run-up. Or guys, if you're new to the stock, then please put I rock it in the comments. I just want to see how many new people we have versus how many have been in this holding um, for the long. So anyways, let's get started. So guys, I do believe that the free flow that Weeble has is incorrect because it's listing it at 322.14 million. And I believe that the shares outstanding is closer to 800 million, in which case I'm not sure um, what part of that is free float and what is not. But I just want you to be aware that it's saying the total shares they have outstanding is 509. So if those are part of the free float, then that would increase it to about 622 million. Again, I'm not sure um, where those total breakdowns come from, but I just know from filings that it is in fact more than 509 million shares that are outstanding. So don't be shocked if you see those numbers change. Anyways, guys, the 52-week low is 21 cents. 52-week high is $15.91. And the average volume in this stock is 103.54 million. Guys, that's insane. Today's volume was 502 million shares. That's even crazier. Um, guys, regardless of the fact that um, I don't think it's physically possible that that many shares are traded, given the fact that, well, let's even say on a high side, they have 900 million shares outstanding. That would still be double that. Um, I'm sorry, half of that. Half of the entire float getting traded in a day with that significant of a number, I don't believe is even possible because I know there are a lot of people in this play and that's why I asked you to let me know below you know with those indicators that have been in this for a very long time and they're certainly not selling for gains of a few cents because a lot of people in this stock guys despite the moves it's had in the last few days are still in it at a loss and I'll be perfectly honest with you, in one account, yes, I am down in Mullen. Uh, because, guys, I started buying Mullen when it was like 63, 68, something like that cents. Um, and then I bought more at like a dollar, a dollar 20, I think was my highest buy. Um, and then obviously have been buying it lower as well. And then I did start a swing trade position, which I am in the green on. Um, but guys, my position that I'm holding long, like many others, I'm still in the red and, um, I don't care because I knew that it was going down and that it was going to be a rough, rocky ride in the meantime. But I'm only telling you that, um, because guys, there's a lot of people like me that believe in Mullen and are holding and just adding to their position whenever they get the opportunity because they think that the fact that this stock is trading at 50 cents is a joke, um, which, you know, many of us do feel that way. And I think that by me saying that, it goes to show you that there's a lot of people in this position that, you know, aren't selling and swapping out their shares. And yes, I'm sure there's plenty of people trading it as well, me being one of them, but guys, I'm swing trading it, not day trading it. And who knows, I may decide to just hold it long. I don't know. Um, I'll make that decision when, I, when you know, I fail the need to. But again, um, I do have a long position that I intend to hold for the next five to 10 years, if not longer, because I think that it's going to be very, very profitable. Um, but uh, my whole point I guess that I'm getting at is I truly believe that there are Lord knows how many naked shorts in the stock guys we will probably never know but you have to look at the volume that's traded it is not normal 
by any means. That is a huge amount of volume. And despite, you know, the trading or whatever else, I, I'm not buying it. Something's up, okay? Um, so I'm going to stick to facts for the rest of this video, but I just want you to be aware that there's a lot more going on with Mullen, I think, that meets the eye, just like Tesla has been heavily shorted forever. Um, I believe that a lot of stocks in the stock market are, if not all of them, guys. Um, but at any rate, there's only one analyst that has rated Mullen so far, and they give it a buy and a $23 price target. Now, considering the fact that we're at 50 55 cents in the after hours, $23 is freaking humongous. I mean, this is a great opportunity. And guys, I don't even think that's the 52-week. Uh, no, it's definitely above the 52-week high. I'd have to go back and look at the all-time high, though. I haven't looked that far back in quite a while on this stock. But I do believe that at some point we can get to that $23, especially if Mullen keeps popping out this great information. Now, currently, Weeble gives... It a um, strong bullish signal on the short and the medium term, guys. It's showing a move to the upside. So um, that being said, I want to caution you with one thing. We did create a gap today. Now, that gap is from approximately 38 cents to about 45, 46 cents, somewhere around there. Will that get filled, guys? It does not have to, but nine times out of 10, they do. Um, so could it come back down? It absolutely could. Will it? I don't know. And anyone that tells you they do are only assuming um, because, you know, based on on what normally happens. But I'm going to tell you the last couple times Mullen ran and did this, it took several weeks, if not months, for it to come down and fill that gap. So could this continue running to the upside? Absolutely. And we're going to talk about that technical analysis in just a few minutes. Um, but, you know, guys, please just know that I'm bringing this to your attention, not to try to be a Debbie Downer by any means. I'm very bullish on Mullen. Um, I just want everybody to know that there is a potential at some point. Um, personally, I'd rather see it happen sooner than later, but that is what it is. Uh, the short interest of this free float is at 16.6%. Now, given the massive free float that it has, um, guys, this is huge. Um, and even though it says it would take 0 0.19 days to cover, that's based on the fact that this is trading astronomical amounts of shares. And remember, this number is self-reported. And if there are indeed naked shorts, they are not included in this. Uh, Mullen does have 8,400,000 shares available to borrow at a cost to borrow of 4%. So it is very cheap to borrow this stock right now. Personally, I think you'd have to be out of your mind because I think that this is long overdue for a run. But again, that's me and um, my opinion. Now, just so you know, FTDs are not really an issue with the stock given the amount of shares available to borrow. Um, and the fact that, as you can see on the 26th, there was over six and a half million. But as they dipped that price afterwards, they were able to cover those. And currently, guys, um, they likely covered all of those by now. We'll see what happens going into um, the information that comes out in a few days or next week. Um, but it should be interesting to see uh, what happened with these FTDs. Have they all been covered? Are there new ones that have been created? Uh, what is going on? But guys, I do believe that uh, most institutions that were short have covered their positions or at least a great deal of them. Um, I'm sure there's still some in that this is going to start to move to the upside. If you do look at the institutional ownership, you will see that the majority of institutional owners in the stock are long. And I do believe I reviewed that in my last Mullen video, not the one from today um, regarding the catalyst, but the one before that. So please do take a look at that video if you want more details on the institutional um, ownership and that breakdown. But guys, um, like I said, I am bullish long-term on Mullen and I am bullish on it short-term. Even if it does come down and fill that gap, I would like it to do that. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, but guys, if it does it sooner rather than later, then that's one thing we don't have to think about, right? Let's get into the technical analysis and the charts. Starting with the daily chart, guys, the 13 is very close to crossing above the 20 
um, SMA on the daily chart, which will indicate a huge, huge move for Mullen. Usually when you get these golden crosses, you do see a very large move to the upside. So I am bullish regarding the daily chart that that should be coming soon. As you can see, the um, RSI is above 50, which is very bullish as well. And guys, the red line has crossed above the green. Ultimately, what we want to see is these lines move up and cross above on the blue waves of the MACD. Now, as we go into the um, smaller time frames, which we're going to do now, you will see that these should have crossed in some of them. Yep, starting with a 60 minute time frame, we have that very nice cross above, um, which occurred on the 19th of October. And guys, we've been trending above despite, you know, the waves, which is normal. And right now the red still remains above the green line. Again, um, we may see some cooling off, a slight pullback followed by a move further. Let's see what the other uh, moving averages are showing us. Although guys, if this starts to squeeze, then all of this can go out the window because you can see these lines go up very, very, very quickly, which is absolutely a potential with Mullen Automotive as it is very heavily shorted. Um, the RSI is above 50. Again, it's at 74. So that is a bullish indicator as well. And our smalling moving averages, um, the 13 and the 20 are above the 48 on that smaller 60 minute time frame, which is bullish as well, guys. Let's take a look at what the 30 minute is showing us. All right, so on the 30 minute, you can see that the green has pulled to touch the 20 SMA at the top of the screen. Um, whether or not it decides to cross below that and pull back a little is, you know, a potential that it could. However, like I said, please keep in mind that the technicals on this can go right out the window if this turns into a squeeze. Now, um, it's at 70% for our RSI. Um, which is bullish, guys. Um, we want to keep it above 50 is the best. Um, again, it may pull back a little bit because as you can see, our MACD, the red looks like it's tapping the green. Does it cross under before it makes our next move up? It's very possible. And again, guys, that's normal. We want to see, you know, waves. We don't want to see a move that's straight to the upside because if we do, we're going to see it come straight to the downside as well. So um, looking at the five minute, you can see that the red has crossed under the green. So again, this is indicating that pullback that I'm talking about and um, our RSI is cooling off. It's back down to approximately 52 or 53. I'm blind as a bat, so can't see that. Um, but guys, um, you can see the 13 and 20 are holding nicely above that 48 SMA. Do they come down and cross below before making our next move? It's very possible. And please remember that this is normal. Take a look at earlier in this chart, you know, where it moved to the upside, came cross below and crossed right back up, guys. This is how you want a chart to move. So please don't think because it pulls back a few cents or five cents or whatever. I know that, you know, five cents on a stock that's trading at 50, 55 cents is 10%. But guys, it's five cents. Um, and it's just making those moves and this is this is what it has to do unfortunately it seems like a lot when these stocks are so cheap um and it is you know when you're moving up but you've got to remember without these healthy waves the stock can't keep trending to the upside and if it does then it's not going to be a healthy trend upwards guys but i do believe that mullen is in a very good place the only thing that i see that i would keep in the back of my mind um is the gap that it had to the upside, which I'm going to show you. In fact, um, I'm probably going to end my video with this one. So I'm going to show it to you because um, I started with this, um, with making this part of the segment first, but I'll probably have already showed it to you by then. But just keep in mind that we have that gap fill down, which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to close it or it's going to close it right now, but I just want to bring it to your attention because it does exist. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Can't wait to see what Mullen brings to us tomorrow.